Hello, I am quickly going to show you how to run and debug your Torntail applications uh, on IntelliJ, but I, I guess the method sh should be the same for other IDEs. Uh, let me quickly show you the small project that I have here. Uh, here's a poem. By the way, this project, I'm going to upload it to GitHub and I'm going to leave the link. Uh, so we have one entity, we have a member with the username and direction, we have the controller where we can search for the for, search for members in the direction, find the ID, create and find all. Um, so now how we can usually uh, run this project. So one way to build the project will be just type maven torntail run like that. Uh, that will build the project uh, as you can see but the problem is that uh, we cannot debug this way uh, and also it's uh, there's some kind of issue for Windows where uh, we cannot actually fully stop the project after we've ran it so I'll quickly show you so if you go here uh, you see that it's empty but uh, it's working we're getting the responses uh, but uh, when I go to cancel the project, uh, cancel the running process, and I go back with Postman, you can see it's actually still wor working, and I can actually add something, and it will work. So that, that's not really good because now, if you want to run it second second time, it will actually throw an error. And if you if we go here and um, Actually, I'll have to just look for it now, but um, let me see. It's probably not that one, but I'll just try. Yeah, it, it was uh, uh, exactly that one. So you can see that the process was still running, which is not uh, really something that we want to do. So my way of uh, fixing this is first, uh, I need to have that um, uh, jar file created so if if we if you don't have that just type maven clean package what well, just once uh, just to have it there and while this is building I'll, I'll just go to uh, build configurations new one um, and click on jar application here path to jar select the path and select this uh, jar file here uh, and also here before launch, that's the actual interesting part. Before launch, you just click on pause, run Maven Go, and then, then just say clean and uh, package. And also here is the place where you can actually set your custom port. For example, you can say the uh, swarm port offset equals, uh, offset equals 100, for example, that will mean Instead of running on port 8080, we'll run on port uh, 8180. So I'll actually just leave it for now just to show you that it works. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll just actually run it in debug mode for now. So yeah. And you can see actually right now Maven is uh, running. It's creating a new package and now after the package is created we're just running that package with the uh, debug mode all right uh, it's ready so clicking here it shouldn't work because we have changed the ports but we can uh, change the port here and actually here we even hit the debugger so I'm uh, just going to continue. How do we continue here? Yeah. Um, now, uh, what else you can do here? I'll, I'll just add a new record just to have one. Uh, yeah. Keep forgetting. Here it is. Oh, we hit another. Okay. Continue. Um, yeah. So, what we can do here. Uh, we can actually now even do a hot swap because we are in IntelliJ. So we can uncomment this line and comment that line. And just uh, I'm pressing Control and F9 to rebuild the application. Yes, 
we want to hot swap and now if I uh, click here again you see that we're getting an exception and if we look for it we have runtime exception test which is exactly what we're drawing here so that's pretty neat for this uh, method um, but there's another one as well so I'm going to show it uh, I'll just need to open up my Chrome uh, turn tail runner there it is uh, I'm just going to grab this piece of code go to my pom and just change this with our current version which is by the way uh, the same but uh, just for sake of consistency okay so uh, I'll just remove the, that one we don't need it anymore uh, and how we use this uh, library we just create a, a main method and then we say runner this runner uh, dot main and we pass the arguments and we uh, add the exception signature and uh, all we need to do now is just uh, run the application you can run or debug it doesn't matter um, so usually uh, this method uh, is uh, a bit faster but um, I, I showed you the other one because uh, in some cases this one doesn't work so I'm forced to switch back to the other one um, but it, it actually should work the same way as the other one so of course the port is now 8080 as it was before you can see that we're getting an exception because uh, here we have that um, line commented if we bring it back uh, control F9 want to hot swap if I go like that we're actually even hit the debugger uh, I'll continue and you see that we're getting the result so uh, this is it pretty much for running the Tortel applications uh, I'll have that project as I said on my github uh, profile uh, if you have any questions about uh, Tortel as a whole you can message me I'll be happy to help you um, so yeah thank you for watching and hopefully uh, we'll see you on the next video um, and one thing I actually forgot to tell you uh, if you go to the temp folder after you run your project you can see that, that there are a bunch of files yeah that's unfortunate uh, at some period I guess you have to clean them because Tortel doesn't like to clean its uh, garbage after you close the project so uh, just have it in mind uh, after a few builds just clean your co uh, files because it uh, gets really messy real quick uh, Thanks again and see you next time.